Hello everybody, it's the 14th of February, happy Valentine's Day. I'm in Ottawa, I don't know if you can see the Parliament buildings there in the distance. My skyline is exactly there. And I'm going to attend a march in solidarity of the missing women all over the world, especially the Aboriginal women in the west of Canada, actually all over Canada. I read about a lady who was murdered in Brampton, Ontario, so... There's these cases all over Canada, and it's what time we do something about that. I love you, Lori. And I love you, too. We are here again on our third vigil for our families of Sister and Spirit, and we are still fighting for justice. To have Canada answer our questions and to hear our stories. We need more than the government funding for more research. How much more do they need? All they need to do is listen and say in Parliament that they are answering our needs. They are not listening. Shame on Canada for thinking they have no, they know what's best for us. Shame on you, guys. Our families want a national inquiry into the injustice of our missing and murdered women and girls. And we as families want our, our, want our questions answered. I was thinking of how we as families want our women and girls to get proper attention they deserve. And meanwhile, Senator Patrick Brazo gets more attention from media and other people, more than our missing and murdered loved ones. That's okay. He's Canada's shame now. He never spoke for our people, and he never will. He made his choice. He is sitting comfortably, and he is still getting well paid. Canada gave him that. Our women did not have a choice. Shame on Canada. Shame! And our loved ones are still missing or murdered, and our families get no help. Where is the justice in that? Shame on Canada. It is sad how one man can get that kind of attention. What a waste. When there are more than 500 missing and murdered Aboriginal women and girls with still no justice. Shame on Canada. We stand here today to support one another and for our loved ones. We are their voices now. My daughter Maisie has been missing for almost five years. For some families standing here, it's been longer. We as families live with the fact that we may never know what happened to our loved ones. And while I believe that Canada is still in that, I believe Canada is still in the mindset that we as Aboriginal women still have no rights. Look where we're standing. Look where we're fighting. Look how they are treating our women. Shame on Canada. They think they can sweep us under the rug and we will forget. We won't let them. Shame on Canada. Shame on Canada for trying to bury another tragedy. We stand here because we are not alone in this anymore. We as families are here and we will continue to be for however long it takes. We are seeking that justice that they deserve, and we will not go away, and Canada will hear us. It is also time for our leaders to step up and support us, stand beside us, and we will be stronger. Action is louder than words, and we, as families, will do what needs to be done. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to support our families here today. We bet you.